Here's how to install an auxiliary port on your single CD Toyota stereo so you can hook up your phone and listen to music. So the first thing we're going to do is move the shifter out of the way and remove all the loose chains from the ashtray. We're going to need these. So we need to remove the radio in order to get to the CD player line. So what we're going to do is remove this trim around the radio here. I've got a screwdriver with my tape around it. And I'll just work it off with my finger. I'm going to move that trim out of the way. Next there are two screws on either side of the radio that I'm going to remove next. Now I can remove the radio from the console and disconnect the wires. We've got two wires back here and then the antenna. So remember all that loose change? Well you need to go over to your electronics store and buy yourself a blank CD as well as an auxiliary cord because that's what you're going to need for this project. So you're going to need a 3.5 millimeter extension cable with a male end that will plug it into your phone. If you want this to last for a while, it's a good idea to invest in a good quality cable. So we need to open up the CD player to access the lines inside so we can solder our auxiliary wires to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the front fascia panel. It's just held in by a couple of plastic clips that you pop open like this. And it comes off like that. By the way, this is a good time to change out those stupid green LEDs for white ones. Alright, now we've got about five screws on the front end I'm going to remove next. Alright, and then another six screws on the back end and two on the top. And then now I'm going to pop off the heatsink at the back. And then remove this lid here. And then remove this front panel here. And then we can pop off the CD player itself. It's just held on by this connector here to the motherboard. Now we need to remove the motherboard from the casing in order to access the solder points from the bottom. And then I can remove the motherboard from the casing. So this here is the motherboard of the radio. And this here is the port where the CD player was plugged into. If you flip the board upside down and you zoom in here, you can see that everything's labeled and we're looking for L out, R out, and then a ground. Those are your left and right and ground channels that you need to solder your wires of your auxiliary cable to. So this here is my auxiliary wire. I've already cut and stripped the ends and I've determined that the outside one here is the left line and that corresponds to the red wire. The middle one here is the right line and that corresponds to the white wire. And then the inside one here is the ground wire that corresponds to the yellow wire. So I'm going to solder those accordingly to the motherboard. So now because these points here are a little difficult to solder to, I'm going to use the continuity tester here on the right port to determine that this point over here is continuous to the right and this one over here is continuous to the left. Now these ports up here are much easier to solder to. Now for the ground there's a lot of points to choose from. I'm going to choose this point over here because it's nice and big and easy to solder to. Alright so before I solder the wires I'm just going to run it through the case so that I can route it outside of the radio and pull that through. Alright so first I'm just going to add a little bit of solder to that point there. Add some solder and then add some solder to the right point here. Now I'm going to take my left wire, warm up the point, solder the wire to it. Then I'll take my right wire, warm up the point, and solder that wire to it. And then finally I'm going to run my ground wire over to the edge here, warm up this pad. And then solder my wire in. Now I'm going to just run a piece of tape across these wires here, so they stay stationary as I assemble the radio back together. Now I'm going to pull this wire through and reassemble the case back onto the motherboard. So now with everything solid in place it's time to reassemble the case around the motherboard. Reinstall the CD player and then reinstall these heat sinks and then reinstall the front panel. Now I'm going to replace like a ton of screws. Oh shoot. And then finally I'm going to replace the front cover. Alright, so now that all the screws are back together, we can go ahead and reinstall the radio into the vehicle. Now before you install the radio, you're going to want to run the aux cord. In my case, I'm going to run it over to the glove box here because it's easy to get to. But you can also drill a hole into this cubby and run it down to the bottom there. So I'm just going to sling this wire over towards the glove box here. And then over on this side, I'm going to catch the wire. And then I can reinstall the radio into the dashboard. I'm going to connect the connectors first at the top as well as the antenna and then replace the radio into the dashboard being careful to route the wires properly and now I'm going to go ahead and replace those four screws to hold the radio in and then finally I can replace the vent that goes on top of the radio it just snaps right in now the key to this hack is the CD here you need to burn a silent track onto the CD and insert it into your CD player and what that'll do is it'll trick the player into reading from the CD but it's actually silent and it's reading from your phone through the aux instead
All right, so we're gonna try this out here. I'm gonna insert my blank CD, plug in my phone or my device, and then press play. And what do you know, it works. You can listen to my music. Crank up the volume. This beige Corolla features a state-of-the-art dual speaker stereo sound system. Yep, that's right, that means there's no speakers at the back.